Z-Man launched the new TRD Bugs this year at ICAST, and as you know, I am a TRD connoisseur and a Ned Rig fanatic, so obviously I had to pick up a few packs. I got the Green Pumpkin Orange, the Canada Craw, and then the Bama Bug. Now, as far as what rigs I think these are gonna perform well on, obviously the Ned Rig, my friends. The Ned Rig is always gonna work. The Finesse Bullets Jig is probably gonna be a dynamite rig for this, and then on top of that, these as a jig trailer is gonna be awesome, or at least that's what I think. So today we're gonna to put all three of those to the test. We're gonna form some opinions on these baits, and then at the end of this video, obviously we'll have a better perspective as far as how we're gonna use these moving forward. So, enough yipping and yapping, let's start casting blasts and let's go. Okay, we're literally the only loners on the lake today. That's just impressive. I think this is the first time that's ever happened. I've only been to this lake one other time and it was during the spawn, so I really have no idea what to expect. It might be really brutal fishing, might be good, I don't know. Definitely gonna try the finesse bullets first, so let's go find a spot to fish and then let's get to work. Also, we've gotten about 12 straight hours of rain, so that probably could impact things. And this one's the Bama bug color, so it's kind of like a purple with a green pumpkin. I think one of the things that really stands out to me about this particular TRD is that it's gonna add a little bit more bulk down there than a lot of the other TRD lineup. And so that's where I think it's gonna be a pretty dynamite finesse jig trailer. And honestly, you'll be able to throw it on pretty much any other type of jig as well. Just gotta keep moving and grooving. This bait's not gonna have a ton of action on the back of a jig, but I've got clear water and uh, I don't need a ton of action. It's mostly just about the profile. You know, this bait just has such a great profile to mimic both bluegill and crawfish, and for me, that's just so crucial. No way. That was the weirdest fish ever. I was twitching it back and I drew a reaction. I made kind of a bad cast, and I was just twitching it through the grass, and that little dink came up and slurped it. I didn't even really set the hook, he kind of just hooked himself. I've fished this pattern long enough. I'm gonna cross over to the other side and see if I can find something a little different. Well, this is gonna be good. This is hardcore. I don't know how long this will last. They said it wasn't gonna rain today. No worries, pretty hardcore. Let's see if we can bust one in the rain. There's a fish. Ate it on the Ned Rig. Actually feels like a decent little fish. Not a giant by any means. Yeah, solid fish though. All right, TRD bugs. All right, all right. In the rain, woof da. Man, there he goes. Man, he's kicking my butt. Oh, he choked it. He choked it. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. You gotta calm down. Got him. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the lens is probably all screwed up on my GoPro, but look how he choked that bait. Absolutely slurped it, my friends. I know it's raining, so the audio is all screwed up, the video is probably screwed up, but nice little bass on the Canada Craw. TRD bugs on that Ned Rig. All right, buddy, see you later. I'm also soaked, look at my pants. I think that's the dock I caught a spawning bass off the front of. That'd be something if I caught another fish right off the front of it. Here's a fish, right off the front of the dock. I caught a fish off that dock six months ago. Aw, he popped free, he was just a little guy. I tried to just yank him in, but I should have played him a little bit more despite the fact that he was a dinkage. Every bait in the TRD lineup kind of has a place, but I think when it comes down to it, the Finesse TRD is my 95% of the time bait. Come on in the wall. Is there a fish on there? Oh, there was. God, he ran right at me after he bit it. I had so much slack in my line. Frickin' brrr. Must have been a pike. Yeah, just a straight up clean slice in my line. I swear, I break off those finesse bullets every time I fish them. I'm just gonna go to the old reliable Ned Rig for now, but I'll tie another one of them on here in a minute. Hey, I got one. He bit it like immediately. Maybe if this fish is gonna tell me anything, they are up in the shallow grass. Hopefully he's an indication of something. So I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm kind of stumped right now. It's pretty cold outside, especially because I'm super wet and they just don't seem to be reacting to anything I'm trying. I've tried deep, I've tried shallow, I've tried weed beds, I've tried docks, just not really finding them. I have a feeling that they're chasing bait around and I'm not exactly doing exactly the right thing. 
that being said, if I find the fish, I should be able to make them bite these TRD bugs. I'm confident, I'm still confident, despite the fact that it hasn't been a great day so far, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna catch a few. So let's go. You know, the wind might be pushing some bait fish this way, but then obviously after that rain, there could be some crustaceans and insects and whatnot up in the water. And so I'd have to believe they'll be up shallow. I mean, I fished deep a lot this morning and I didn't find crap. Definitely a shallower bank. Hopefully that's all we need. Oh, there's a bite. Oh goodness, what do we got here? What do we got here? A little bit healthier fish. Buddy, 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 he is pufta. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Wow, talk about a fighter. Look at that guy, just slurped it, barely hooked. Good thing I've got a good drag system on my reel. What do you say, people? TRD bugs, bass, I'm loving it. <sighs> That's a real nice, healthy fish right there. I'd take a fish like that any day of the week. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Bass, for turning my day around. It looks like the fish are up shallow in the weeds. I like that. See you, buddy. There's gotta be more in this area. And I don't know if it's, oh, there's a fish. What, a <laughs> rock bass. I was like, that was weird. He was right by the kayak. I don't know if it's the wind that's helping or if it's just the shallow grass or what, but my guess is it's probably a combination of both. You generally want to fish the windblown areas this time of year. Oh man, that was a weird bite. Oh man, this might be a big fish. Eh, I can't tell. Man, they're really fighting hard today. He wants to be big. He's not a giant, but by golly, does he want to be. He's good fish, very good fish. Come on, I know I have a net, so I'm not sure why I'm just grabbing these fish. Look at that, look at that. I gotta get a picture of that. That's a, that's a pretty solid fish. He's fat for his size. That is a solid fish and just right there on the top of his mouth. See you later, bud. He went right back up to that really shallow water. Man, they're feeding up on these, whatever's getting swept into the water. Maybe it's little minnows, I don't know, but they're only in like one to two feet of water, so that's solid. Oh, there's a, a stupid rock bass. They're like pegging it and they're not eating it. Just doink, doink. I can't believe they're not getting their mouth around it. It's just a little bit too thick for them. And I think they're just little tiny meatballs. They're not like the big jumbo meatballs. These are mini meatballs, micro meatballs. I love calling rock bass meatballs. There he is. Oh, you stupid rock bass. So pretty much all the bass that I've caught have bit super weird. Like they don't just hammer it. They kind of like pop it a couple times and then they get it. I don't know what they're doing. Like. I don't know if that really says that they're not actively feeding. I don't know what it means. Like, I really don't know how to interpret that. Um, it's just a weird bite. Another one. Little guy. Oh, it's a rocky. Pretty big rock bass. This, this lake has some pretty solid rockies in it. Not a giant by any means, but God, they have such cool eyes. Their eyes are so red. See you, buddy. They're aggressive as heck for their little size. Had another fish. God, they're biting so weird. Decent little bass. Decent little bass. God, they're fighting like wild childs. They're biting it weird and then they fight hard. That one choked it. I don't know, I think they like the Canada craw, man. I really think they do. I think they just really enjoy this color. Sometimes color makes a huge difference, especially in clearer water, so. Eh, not a giant, but healthy little fish and he fought hard, so I'll take it. A very poor day of fishing turned into a pretty good day of fishing really quick. That's the thing with fall fishing in general. You can't get discouraged early because you know that eventually you're gonna find the fish and then you just gotta catch them. I think when they position a little tighter to the weed beds and kind of on the edges around the holes, um, probably during the summer, that's when the finesse bullets combo is probably gonna work even better. For now, just drifting the Ned Rig over the top of the weed beds has been the most productive. I'll be highly surprised if I don't get one on this bank with the old Neddy. Dinker, absolute chicken nugget right here. I don't even know how I felt that fish. Little guy, see you buddy come down with a pattern, find the windy points, find the windy banks, whatever it may be. There's a fish. Not a bad one. Oof da. Golly, he's just pulling and pulling. And he just ate that thing. Look at that fish. You know, I wouldn't have I wouldn't be having a bad day if this were a tournament. These are all solid. I mean, yeah, he's probably about mm, 15 inches. Had probably a 16 and a half earlier. 
maybe a 16. All right, that, that works. I've had a decent little showing. Generally speaking, if there's one fish on a bank, there ought to be a couple more. Once we get back to the ramp, I'm really gonna talk a little bit more about the TRD bugs and kind of how I feel about it. Obviously today, um, it's shining on the Ned Rig, but I think there are gonna be time. Oh, there's a bite. <laughs> a dinky. I think there's gonna be times where it really is gonna come into play on the, the finesse bullets as well as the jig. So we'll talk more about that later once we get back to the ramp. Buddy, hello, go home. This is exactly why you should not let the rain make you go home. We've had a pretty decent day. There's a fish. What is this? Is this a fat rocky or? Yeah, fat little rock bass. Little meatball. Little meatball sub. Pretty fish. They're like a really cool golden color. Another fish, two in a row. I feel like this is another rock bass. If it is, it's a, oh my gosh, it's a toad rock bass. He's just fatter and all get out and he choked that. Two and two casts. Man, he just, I gotta get out the pliers. Look how, he freaking hammered that. All right, there you go, buddy. Just a fat meatball. In this net rig, a lot of the fish that I've caught, I haven't even felt the bite, I just pull up on them. So really, what it comes down to is this situation is just, straight up there it is <laughs> straight up in favor of the old ned rig nice little fatty nice little fatty buddy why change what's working they like this ned rig god bless he's pretty long for his weight he's probably not the heaviest fish in the world but he's pretty long god just chomping it guys they bite it so weird it's like ding, 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 ding. and why not try it i feel like they would eat this I wonder if I just like kind of swim it. You don't really need a jig trailer that makes a lot of movement on a swim jig if you kind of just pop it a lot, especially in this clear water. So, I mean, this TRD Bugs is probably fine. It's mostly just a profile thing. Yep, I got him. I figured that would work. <laughs> okay, we put, the, we put the big jig to work. We just swam it. Oh gosh, we're going in a tree. All right, buddy, I'm gonna have to put you down. I didn't want to put the rods in a tree, so I had to pedal away. You know what? I had a feeling we could make that work. The TRD bugs on a jig trailer looks pretty darn good. You know, a swim jig doesn't always have to have a big swim bait or something on the back. You can just put on something like this TRD bugs, and it's just mostly a profile thing. Pretty clear water, so they're not really looking for a ton of action. And the way that I work a jig when I swim it, I'll show you. I basically cast it out there and I'm reeling casually and I'm just reeling the whole time and I'm popping it up, up, up. And the reason being is because I'm fishing a lot of this grass and uh, once it starts to load up, I just sweep into them. You know, I got a big hook on there so you got to give them a lot, of, a lot of beef when you set the hook. But yeah, I had a feeling it would work but I'm surprised it worked so quick. That was wonderful. Clearly we can tell from today's video that the TRD Bugs is gonna be yet another great plastic for the Ned Rig. And here's the deal, if you wanna learn how to throw the Ned Rig, click that playlist right up there. But I think what excites me more about this plastic is the fact that it's a little bit more bulky than the rest of the TRD lineup, and that's gonna allow it to be just a little bit more versatile bait. Obviously I can throw it on the back of a jig like I proved today, but I am super excited to throw it on this Weedless Bullets. I know it didn't work today, but it's gonna work in the future, I just know it. Anyways, enough yipping and yapping. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you at the next video.